Hello and welcome. I'm here today with Robin and we're here to continue our series on the dangers of, of some groups, some religious groups in particular. And last time that we did one of these videos, we spoke about shunning and how that really can damage people. And this time we're talking about false promises and claims, particularly false prophecy. We will cover what to watch out for and and what to be aware of in any group that asks you to have blind faith. So Robin, Robin, you're very knowledgeable in this area. Uh, tell us about yourself and why you're concerned. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about very knowledgeable, but um, yeah, I, I'm uh, a born again Christian. I had a, 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 a pretty dramatic conversion back in 1986. Um, and I've been interested in uh, new religious movements ever since. Um, and one of my biggest interests, of course, is the group known as Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, so I have a great deal of interest in them. And of course, they are known for having false prophecies. Now you sent me a list of these prophecies earlier on in the week. So can you tell us a bit about them? Yeah, uh, well, a false prophecy, basically, according to the Bible, way back in, in, in um, Deuteronomy, I think, um, Basically, if, if, if a prophet says something's going to happen and it doesn't happen, then it's not of God. <laughs> um, and of course, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they're not the only group that have many false prophecies, but they're probably the most famous ones. Uh, I suppose the biggest one was 1975. Uh, there was a lot of hype about that. Um, witnesses were told in the late 60s to prepare but it was all going to go wrong in, in 1975. Armageddon was going to happen. Jesus would return. And, of course, it didn't happen. <laughs> um, and the Watchtower, that, that's the kind of umbrella of, of, of the Jehovah's Witness religion, were very clever about this. They said, well, we never actually said it would happen. We said it was 1975 was 6,000 years from Adam's time and... It, they even went round to blaming witnesses themselves for getting too hyped up about it. And there are witnesses now who are, you know, haven't prepared for old age because they never thought they'd get there. <laughs> so I suppose that was their biggest false prophecy. And there, there, of course there are some others, but that, that was the latest one. But it's all part of... Uh, it's it's known as the doomsday cult or doomsday group it, it, it like many groups it, it says that the end is coming and of course for jehovah's witnesses it's armageddon it's only mentioned once in the bible but not only do they falsely prophesy and put a date on it um they actually keep their members in almost a heightened state of it could be any minute you know and, you know, some kids, some children have reported, you know, as they were growing up, they thought a thunderstorm or maybe something like Buntsfield going off was the start of Armageddon. And they, they live in a, a state of terror about it, but then wanting it to happen because it will mean paradise earth for them. And they're, they're encouraged not to question anything that we can't be contrary aren't they because um, i've spoken to yeah. them and they they won't question anything it's this idea of a blind faith and that's not something that groups like us believe we, we the orthodox christians do not believe that we believe that uh, that faith is about using your brain as well using your reason and weighing up the evidence um and uh, yeah. there has to be a step of faith at some point but faith is partly to do with 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 using our brains i mean god's given us a brain i mean what do you think yeah, no, I agree. Um, the Bible says to test things, and that means testing maybe what our leaders say. You know, if you're aligned to a certain church, you, you're quite in order to say, well, I'm not sure about that. You know, I've had people question me when I've done a sermon in church. And yeah, it, it, blind faith is, there has to be faith somewhere but no, uh, we use our God-given brains. We use our intellect. We use what God has given us to test things and, and see if it, it's right or not. 
Mm. Um, but no, of course, in, in the new religious movements, the high control groups, any questioning is, um, it's a big no. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, so thank you. And, and what can we do to, to help ourselves and to check out these sort of groups? I mean, wh where can we go to get information? Right, so if you're looking at new religious movements, um, one guy uh, springs to mind a lot is Tony Brown. Tony Brown has a ministry. He's an ex-JW, but he doesn't just do JW stuff. He does Mormons and other stuff. He's he's a very he's got a very broad ministry. But if you if you Google um, Tony Brown uh, evangelist, you'll get his YouTube stuff come up and any posts he's put up. He's very very knowledgeable. Yeah, so thank you, Robin. I found a, a video earlier, YouTube. I'll, I'll put that in the information for this video. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Robin, particularly as I, I hear you just got COVID. So thank you so much <laughs> for taking this time out to uh, to talk to us. Thank you. I'd, I'd like to just add one one more thing that uh, I know of a family. I'm not going to give any, any um, confidences away here, but I do know of a family, a, a family of Jehovah's Witnesses, who are heavily in debt and they're just hoping that Armageddon comes so they don't have to pay it back. And I think that's one of the saddest things that I've heard. Thank you.